Okay, so in the previous video we uh, derived uh, this relationship, and this is the geodesic equation, by the way, um, at least in flat space anyway. Um, you see, in flat space, I uh, hope we've discussed this before, I think we have, um, in flat space uh, it's possible to find a coordinate system, this is the definition of a flat space, of one in which it's possible to produce some coordinate system. You can lay the coordinates however you want, produce any, produce me a coordinate system such that everywhere the metric is equal to the Euclidean metric, and that's a flat space. In curved space it's not possible to do that. It's only possible to get a coordinate system which incredibly locally under infinitesimal sizes converges on being the Euclidean metric. Uh, for So as a really really good approximation or if you really do believe in the infinitesimal actually when you get to that level which you can't get to and it's so unfindable but yeah it, it converges on uh, becoming Euclidean. As you, uh, as your area of interest becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, and in general relativity, that's actually the equivalence principle. That under very small little hyper volumes of space time, your coordinate system can take the form of a coordinate system that in special relativity. Anyway, um, so uh, back to Riemannian geometry. So, if if your space is flat then you'll ha once again you start off with the usual situation you start off with a coordinate system which we'll call the x coordinate system and that has a metric tensor field on it if you can find me a coordinate system a y coordinate system such that when you transfer the metric into the y coordinate system and again watch the digital universities um, org um, playlist and tensor analysis if you don't know how to do this but the way that you transform the metric tensor is um, okay y n differentiated with respect to i oh no what am I doing y um, no it transforms no I'm doing it wrong it transforms like a covariant tensor so it's going to transform like how is this going to work so we're transforming it into the y coordinate system so it, we need to have x I differentiated with respect to U, X, J differentiated with respect to V, G, I, J, and that's the metric in the X coordinate system, and this will give us our metric uh, U, V relative to the Y coordinate system, X coordinate system. So if you can find me a uh, coordinate transformation, by the way, these are, uh, this is the fancy notation, well, my, the simple notation for uh, this. So it's you need to know um, the y coordinate system as a function of x, and then you can work out the inverse, the x coordinate system as a function of y, uh, del y v. So um, if you can find me a coordinate system in which, when you transform the metric tensor, it becomes, if we're talking about just in two dimensions, the Euclidean metric, which is Kronecker delta um, u v, then you're in business. Your space is flat. And if you can find that, if you can find that, then that coordinate transformation, the y1 as a function of x1, x2, and the y2 as a function of x1 and x2, and of course you can inverse these functions to get x1 as a function of y1 and y2, and x2 as a function of y1 and y2, which is what we need for this equation here, because you're going to have to differentiate them with respect to y and stick them in there. If you know this, if you find this, coordinate transformation for the y coordinate system as a function of the x coordinate system and when you do this it transforms the metric into the Euclidean metric then your space is flat and this coordinate transformation is what you need to plug into the geodesic equation because what we're basically saying is go into this coordinate system and in this coordinate system your particle will follow a straight line completely straight for all eternity and it will stay in that coordinate system as a straight line and then all you're doing then is taking that trajectory relative to the y coordinate system and transforming it as back into the x coordinate system and asking what would i see that trajectory as in the x coordinate system so if if uh, your space is flat then this equation will work for you basically uh, you just need to know what that coordinate system with the Euclidean metric is. And we're going to now, in the next video, discuss how this generalizes, um, how actually you don't even need to know 
this y um, coordinate system. You can do it just with the metric tensor relative to x. You can work. You can adapt this equation so that you can transform the uh, so that it just needs this basically. It, you, we're going to write it in terms of Christoffel symbols, which can be written in terms of this. Um, so we're going to in the next video look at how you can change this equation so that it's just in terms of that and you don't need to know this coordinate system. Uh, because this coordinate, this metric determines this anyway, but you don't want to have to work this out. You want to just be able to do it from the metric, and you can. And the brilliance of that is that it then generalizes beautifully into curve spaces where there doesn't exist a universal global coordinate system which has the Euclidean metric. Thank you.